Retired Army Sergeant John Barnes. My son was injured in Iraq, so he's now a disabled American veteran. It was a direct result from 9-11. I was pretty pissed off about it and wanted to go over there. We just happened to go to the most dangerous place in the country at the most dangerous time. He was halfway through his second tour in Iraq and he was unloading a supply truck just outside southwest Baghdad when a mortar round landed a few feet from him. The shrapnel from that mortar round had gone right through my helmet, right through my head, actually went diagonally through my brain. Some of it came out back here. And you know, you get that dreaded phone call and he said, ma'am, there's been an incident, is how he termed it. <laughs> My next step was collapsing to the floor. From there, I went into a coma for almost two weeks. Then I woke up at Walter Reed, and that was, that was interesting, because I couldn't move my left side of my body. And then, of course, I felt my head, and there's half my head missing. It's very strange. I never thought about my son being devastatingly injured. I thought about him being killed all the time, and I thought I was prepared for that. But nobody prepares you for the injuries. Thank God my mother's a nurse. Uh, if she wasn't around, I would have never gotten institutionalized so much, but I'd also probably be dead. There's nowhere for these men and women. I mean, I'm his mother. I'm not going to live forever. Glad to drive down streets in America and not have to worry about roadside bombs. He was injured serving this country. If you can't or you're unwilling to help this person, then who would deserve it?